What's up guys and welcome. You're watching Fazifinus. Starting this video with Sergio Oliva Jr's newest update. As he is in pursuit of his second IFBB professional win and the Olympia qualification for 2023. Yes, you guys heard that right. So how did you guys rate his Cali Pro performance? And yes, I know that was a last minute travel. But the thing is, the fans do not care about any excuses anymore. On paper, Sergio should have won that show. And he didn't even play second. That was kind of bad. Keep in mind, the winner of that show, Ross Patrick, he got beat by two guys at Toronto Pro a week later. So if we put things in perspective, then I'm sure all of us will agree that Cali Pro is easily considered a show with a very weak lineup. So if we talk about Sergio's performance at Cali Pro, his back did not look good at all on stage. And according to him, that was a peaking issue. And the point is, if he keeps on missing his peaks, all that size and shape, that is worthless. Because that is not helping him win a show. So what is next for Sergio? My guess is he might do Chicago Pro. That show is still 6 weeks out. And that is plenty of time for him to get super shredded. Plus, that is a show that has always been on his radar. The amount of weight Andrew Jagd is moving here. That is a very, very impressive form. Only a few weeks left till Andrew Jagd flies to the US and joins Chris Lewis, aka Psycho Fitness, to finish this prep for his upcoming battle between him and Hunter Labrada. So Texas Pro 2023 is gonna be one hell of a show. Yes, Andrew Jagd has all the structural advantages over Hunter. But the thing is, Hunter has also pushed beyond his comfort zone to make some major changes in his physique. And so far, Andrew hasn't been able to beat Hunter just yet. So the biggest changes that Hunter made this time was shifting to solid foods. And we did saw some great changes in his physique. The biggest one being his waistline and his stomach. Now we all know Andrew Jagd will stand out on that stage in the front shots. No matter how streamlined Hunter's physique looks, or I will say he will stand out in any lineup for that matter. But Hunter does have some advantages in these side shots because Andrew still lacks the thickness there. So last year when Andrew walked out on that Texas Pro stage, which was also his pro debut, he really shot the bodybuilding world. That look was off the charts. So that size coupled with his Arnold Classic conditioning from this year, that will be almost impossible to beat. Akeem Williams was given the green light to train his upper body three weeks ago by doctors after his shoulder surgery. Just like Charles Griffin who suffered a packed ear and couldn't train his upper body, Akeem also had to go through the same path. But both of these guys utilized this time to focus more on their legs. So is Akeem still a factor at the Olympia level? Can he crack top 6 again the way he did back in 2020? If we keep it a thousand, there is hardly any chance. In fact, I'm gonna say there is no chance of that happening again. The guys are just built so different now and also they are progressing at such a fast pace. Don't get me wrong, Akeem looked amazing at the Arnold Classic in March. But despite that, he didn't even place in that top 5. That says so much about the level of competition right now in the men's open bodybuilding. And keep in mind, two of the best guys, Hadi Chopin and Derek Linsford weren't even there in that lineup. So Kim Williams 100% has the physique to qualify for the Olympia without any troubles. But does he has the physique to crack top 10? Because that target looks more realistic now for Akeem. So, can you do that? Do let me know in the comments below. And hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.